What's up guys, Manic Assassin hanging out with you again today. So it looks like I take one weekend off to go camping and everything drops for news for Assassin's Creed. But as always, I'm gonna bring you the news as well. No matter how late it may be, it happens guys. Get over it. I'm a procrastinator. It's okay. We'll all live. But anyways, let's get into it. So it looks like over the weekend we got an announcement for Assassin's Creed Dynasty. That's going to be a new manga, written entirely in Chinese. Now, this manga is going to be set during the year 755 in the Tang Dynasty, following the main protagonist, Li Yi. Now, according to the information given, we will be starting out the story with him as an assassin already, as we watch him work his way up to a master assassin status. Now, as for the other information that has been leaked, it looks like we may have another Assassin's Creed game coming up. They did do this with Assassin's Creed Unity and Rogue, where they wanted to make sure that all of their players could have a game no matter what system you had. This is a good way for Ubisoft to monopolize on people not being able to purchase the new system, as well as making sure that the fan base has their own unique game as well if you chose not to upgrade to the next system. Now these are just rumors still. We don't know if it's accurate, and Ubisoft has straight up come out and said that they will not do an Assassin's Creed Feudal Japan nor China. That's what Assassin's Creed Chronicles was actually for. To be quite honest, after Ghost of Tsushima came out and I saw how the fan base reacted to that, all praising it as the next Assassin's Creed, kinda had a inkling that they would go back on their word with this because as we can see that's a good money maker people want to be able to explore that timeline and that story of the Khan Dynasty as well as their invasion into all these other countries. Now it seems like the YouTuber that's kept up on this the most seems to be Blackwoods. I'll go ahead and leave a link in the description down below for you guys so you can check out his video as well. He personally feels it's going to be a story involving Genghis Khan. If this were true, it looks like Darim ibn Lahad would actually be coming back to the storyline. Because according to the Assassin's Creed wiki, he is actually the one who assassinated Genghis Khan. Now for those of you who don't know who Darim is, he is actually Altair's son. You see a quick snip of him at the end of Revelation. This is a take on the story that I've been waiting for him to do for a long time ever since Revelations. I think it would be an awesome go at it and I think that it would resonate a lot with a lot of fans. Now if Ubisoft is smart, they're gonna wait another year before they release this, bringing more validity to these supposed leaks, because as they state, this is supposedly a game for 2022. Now personally, I feel like Ubisoft will wait maybe a few months, let the hype from Ghosts of Tsushima die down a little bit, and then release it. Now the next Ubisoft Forward event has been scheduled to release in September. They haven't given a definite date on that yet, but we may see more information on this in the future when that happens. Cross your fingers with me. We all want to see more information on this. It would be awesome. Me personally, I'm going to be prepping for it by making a Tonto Hidden Blade. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link in the description for that video when I get it made. Thinking I'll do the Hidden Blade tutorial with that Tonto Hidden Blade so that we can kill two birds with one stone. If you think that's a great idea, leave a like, comment down below what you think it should look like what colors I should use, really want to get your guys' take on this and build a blade strictly for the fans. Now in another video of Blackwoods, I'll leave that in the description down below as well, he goes into a game theory based off of a Twitter release by Darby McDevitt where he gives a secret code in response to two questions with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Now the first question was, will Eivor be an assassin at the beginning of the game? To which he replied, no. And the second question was, will they be called assassins or hidden ones in the beginning of the game? Now, Blackwoods worked together with a few other fans from the fan base, and they together cracked this code, potentially leaking Eivor with Altair. Now, as we know, it looks like Maria was born in England, bringing more validity to the theory that Maria could be a descendant of Eivor, and that is showing the connection between AC1 and this game. If they did do an Assassin's Creed China, specifically for this next generation consoles, and they chose to include Genghis Khan, like in his theory, it could really tie the story together. So I am not ready to rule out this game theory yet. I'm not ready to rule out this leak yet. It could very well be plausible. Let me know in descriptions down below what do you guys think. There have been many other leaks with these games in the past. 
and we all know that sometimes they come true, sometimes they don't. Really interested to hear what you guys, the fans, think. So let me know down below. Now, I did a little bit of research on the Mongol Empire, and it looks like Genghis Khan was born April 16th of 1162, and he died in August 18th of 1227, meaning that he was roughly 65 years old when Darin assassinated him. Now, it looks like technically Altair was still alive at this time as well. Me personally, I feel like maybe Darin would have assassinated him as Altair was taking care of the Assassin Brotherhood and taking lead as the mentor of the Assassin's Guild. To which we would have seen the events in Assassin's Creed Revelations where Altair builds the vault and hides the pieces of Eden within it taking place roughly about 30 years after that. It looks like it would fit into the timeline perfectly. And me personally, I think it would be a great idea to take a take on Darin's story so that we can get a little bit more of Altair's story, but not actually spoil the hype that was left when he died. It seems like it's accurate, it fits the timeline, and only time will tell. We'll have to find out. What do you guys think? Am I wrong? Now, throughout this video, I've went ahead and taken the liberty of adding in just a few of the leaked pages from the manga. Now, Blackwoods feels like this could possibly be an extension of that story, and since it's a leak, we still don't know yet. But if it did take place with the Genghis Khan Empire, it would have taken place roughly about 600 years afterwards. That's everything for you guys today. What do you guys think? Do you want Assassin's Creed China? Or do you think that they should still do it in feudal Japan? Now an interesting thing about Chronicles was that was actually meant to be a full-fledged Assassin's Creed game, most people don't know, but the processing power of the PlayStation 4 wouldn't be able to handle it. So they converted it to a 2D platform gaming format. If this leak is not a new installment in the series, it could very well be a remake of the Chronicles series. Maybe they're utilizing the PS5 in a way to where they can reformat the game in the way that they originally intended and then re-release it once again. Either way, guys, it's going to be awesome. Let me know what you think in the description down below. Have a great day, guys. Manic Assassin. Peace.